plot twist or no plot twist? I called this episodes ago. I think it was pretty obvious who Negishi or Creepy was going to be in this world. Now, I didn't know that she was going to be a vampire. And again, this line of thinking stems from my assumption that people's pre-existing personas and who they are is further exaggerated in the isekai world and they become that kind of type. Negishi becoming a vampire or like a progenitor of vampire like that, it's kind of pretty spooky, right? I don't know. She is called spooky back in order and everyone kind of like looked down on her, but now she's like a busty, sexy vampire that even Okachan is scared of, bro. We're getting like a new power scaling here. Now, some of the things that happened was the coup in the kingdom, right? We're basically driven out. Hugo came with the vampires and the demon helps, I think. And the elves are pretty much dead. Pultimos is dead. Our girlfriend Katya was dead, but actually the hero's tears can like revive. So it's like, shit, that's nice to know. And then Faye came back as an evolved earth dragon and saved us. I don't know what mode of evolution. I'd like to understand the different evolution path of an earth dragon, just like a tower tech this, right? And I believe in terms of the past walk is just basically killing her family and eating them, deep frying them. That's right. Let's begin today's reaction. That's a lot of spiders. Mama, is that you? We're trying to cut off our connection with Mama, right? Yeah, our schizo friends are basically doing the damage, and somehow we're gonna get emancipated. All right, magic one, what's up? That's a uh, body, right? The body has the the headband. You're insulting yourself. Huh? The, the fuck? What is this? Like, I understand it's in the mom's, like, mind, but, like, what is this? So, this is all just a placebo? I would argue that this initial one minute was a fucking waste of time, but I do love these schizo friends, so I'll allow it. Yeah. She's fine with it? Does she even know she's being attacked? Whoa, that's kind of important right there. Well, that's kind of important right there, right? What did she say? Wait, wait, before that, before that, before that? We're attacking her. Yet mother doesn't seem to do anything because we have a certain skill. Doesn't heresy nullification mean she can't even if she wants to? So mom can't do anything about it because we have heresy nullification. That's pretty fucking OP. It's so big though. What happens after we eat all of mom? The connection gets killed and then we're our own people? We basically run away from home? Baby blood sucker, the vampire, Negishi. I don't know. Who's lucky, honestly? Who's actually luckier? Cause like, is it gonna be? Is Negishi super lucky that she got born as like a progenitor vampire and became like this super strong being, or is Kumo lucky that she got born as a spider but eventually like became so strong? You know what I mean? Is Kumo really unlucky, or is? The success that Kumu get, the result of her hard work and dedication, which honestly could be even further heightened if she got a good spawn point, like Negishi. Faye is pretty fucking lucky. Faye says that she's so unlucky that she became like an earth dragon like familiar, but she's like, nah, dude, you're like a legendary earth dragon. Like, you're cracked. I feel like Kumu's like decently lucky, but I would also like the narrative that Kumu actually is very unlucky. But through hard work and determination of surviving in the Elro Labyrinth, like she became like so much better than everyone else because she grinded. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't know about that. No, we're overlooking something again. Uh, back in the labyrinth, mom? Okay. Half one leg this entire time? This is gonna take forever, isn't it? Is this chick actually gonna take until the end of the season to eat it all? Mm. Mm. But heresy nullification apparently prevents her. Then what is it? I thought that she can't do anything because of heresy nullification, but maybe that was an assumption. So like, what's going on here? This is just like the spider's nest and like... Mom is in the middle, and you have all the, like, the, the beginner noob tar text at the very outer ring. Then you have, like, some of the more greater ones and, like, the arc ones, you know, the closer ones, right? The, inner, the closer you are, like, the bigger spider you are, right? What are they doing here? Are they just chilling? Is she eating every spider here? 
Are they having a fucking orgy? Does that count as incest? I don't really know, but they're just all just like huddled up, just like, just, just moving around. What are they doing? There's a couple arc spiders left too. Thank you for the bits, Ryzen. I appreciate it, man. Mother understands that? Okay. No! How valuable are we to mom? Because she has been, if she has been, like, look at this. Like, would she really care about a single offspring? I think she would. If you are the single offspring, you are so fucking correct. You're so fucking strong. You defeated Araba. You escaped the labyrinth. I feel like mother has, places a lot of value on Wakaba, right? She has to be one of the most important, if not the most important sibling, um, Sorry, offspring that uh, mom has, right? You are an irregular. Irregular at Magic High School? Irregular at Elro Labyrinth. <laughs> is mom smart? Or is she just a dumb, hairy, big spider? This is all part of her plan? I'm getting worried, man. What the fuck was that sound? What the fuck was that sound? Mom's moving! Oh, mobilize all the forces? Why now? Holy shit! How deep in the labyrinth was that? Is she in the lower stratum right here? When she used this beam attack? How? Because she clearly blew the fucking roof off this labyrinth, right? With this laser beam attack. How, like, you know? Because if this is the lowest part of the labyrinth and she fucking blew up with one attack to the fucking peak of the labyrinth, that is fucking insane, dude. Oh? They're stuck? Our schizo friends are stuck? Our schizo friends. Wait, that means we can't use our other three brains during combat now. Oh, shit. Mom is smart. Mom trapped us. Oh, fuck. How do we get out of here? How do we, we- we can't get- Mom's leaving herself, dude! Oh, shit! Uh-oh. We're so far- <laughs> Look! It's Mama's attack! Dude, that beam attack is fucking insane! Yo, can Kumo get hyper beams like this? You are the one that might get eaten by Mama at this rate. Oh, uh, careful. Careful. She got no idea what's about to come, right? She's even crying at how tasty it is. Because all she had to do is eat nastiest monsters. You jinxed it! You jinxed it! Was that mom? How the fuck are you? Oh. So now... Okay. I never really understood the scale of mom. But, like, mom is fucking huge. Like, we knew she was big, but, like, like, seeing her outside like this. Fuck, can we even outrun her? I know that we evolved into the specific, like, um, subspecies where we can, like, like, we're faster, right? We're very agile. But I feel like if you're this fucking big, a single stride might as well just catch up to you, even if you specialize in speed. Oh, Queen Tartect weakened. Why is she weakened? Is it because of the damage that we did to her mental state? I don't know, but she's weakened right now. Level 89. Fucking... The offense stat is almost maxed out, right? Because you see these max stats right here. She's damn near the cap of every fucking thing. This is insane. Even the speed. How is that fair? The max is 24,000. That's not, not the max. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That's not the level cap. This is like... Sorry. The max is like what she would be if she wasn't weakened, right? Okay, okay, okay. I thought this is like the stat cap like theoretical stat cap theoretical i'm like that's fucking insane if she's almost maxed out everything is there any skill here that we should pay attention to let's look for like um like the oh here we go taboo 10 she has taboo 10 scanda 10 sanctum stronghold fortitude but she doesn't have the sins though huh she has diva but i don't see like um you know like it's like pride lust greed sloth shit like that right all right all right she has Parallel Mind also, level 9. Holy fucking shit. 
She has nine fucking schizo friends, dude. She has parallel level nine. Holy fuck. Title, kin eater, foul feeder, poison technique user, threat, assassin, human slayer, fear bringer, merciless, monster slaughter, worm slayer, dragon slayer, champion, monster calamity, lord. Bro, this title is just called fucking lord, dude. Human slaughter, worm slaughter, and yes, the amount of skill stats that she has saved up. Look at this. 164,500 skill points, dude. She has saved up. Remember, Araba has saved up like 70k just to use it to us. Maybe mom's gonna use it all right now for us too, man. I don't know. Five times stronger than Araba. Holy. Yo, I thought that we like graduated from the labyrinth by defeating the strongest monster, but technically... Mom is the strongest monster of the dungeon, right? Five times stronger than Araba? I thought Araba was like the strongest. I don't think you can just run. Can you? Can you run? What kind of disaster is this causing in the human world right now? By Wakaba running away from mom like this. Yeah, they're locked in. She knew that she was getting attacked mentally. All right, we have teleport. We could stream just teleport back into the labyrinth, dude, if we wanted to. She just won't give us time, though. Dude, like, could you imagine if Wakaba just, like, again, running around like this for her, like, her safety? Like, this is, like, a historical event. Like, this is, like, a natural disaster, like she's saying, right? The entire land is just being grazed, dude. Yeah. The day... Like, if this is a regular magic... Like, a uh, irregular magic high school, dude, like, they would, like, have a specific term for it. Like, scores Halloween, right? They would have, like, a specific term for this specific day. But, like, if she wants us to come back, why is she trying to kill us? Because if she eats us because we're so strong, she can become even stronger. Is that the idea? Because like, I'm like thinking, like, why does mom actually want us back? Like, you try to kill us, but it's like, oh, wait. This is not really like a loving mother wanting her, like, most beloved daughter to come back. It's like, no, you're the strongest offspring. If I eat you, I'll become stronger. Right? Is it that mindset? <laughs> mm. Teleport! Plot to plot armor! Plot armor! Plot armor. Just lucky. You think it's like deserting like soldiers? See, she's like the Yakuza? No one's allowed to leave the cult? Maybe? But we have healing now, right? We don't have to like level up to get those healed? Arc spider. Oh, they were ready. They were fucking... How smart is she? Mom was so smart. She went outside by herself while the rest of her goons were ready for our home. Oh my god, mom is actually so smart. <laughs> Teleport out to some other place. What other place do we know though? What is that? What is that? What is that? There was an even bigger than an arc one. It's just more arcs? Okay. Yeah, she fucking called you out. I thought she was just a dumb hairy beast. Ooh. Even with poison resistance, we're getting fucked. Something about this looks so funny to me. I don't know. It's just, just like a spider eating her fucking ass. I don't know. <laughs> Five arc spiders. Don't know what a filicide is. What HP do we just use perseverance? So what's the game plan? I would just pour it into the fucking middle layer, bring them, and, you know, defry them again. Huh? What the fuck was that? What, what, what the? Looks at them? Pop up? Some eye technique? Or just claws? I don't know that that little sound effect was very odd. Pop up? Yes. Defry them again. Okay, to the middle layer we go. Man, teleport really doesn't mean anything if it takes too long to cast, huh? Frame one teleports to somewhere. But surely mom's thought about- Oh! Oh, that's- It looks pretty strong. I don't know. I'm kind of scared. Uh, oh! Is her arms gone? No more pincers. Hello. Okay, what the fuck is this? Did we ever have this in the labyrinth? What the fuck is this thing? 
Look, this is CGI, but it actually doesn't look bad. Honestly, it looks pretty fluid, right? It looks pretty fluid. The fuck? There's a tiny spider controlling this? What? Mom's secret weapon is this doll thing? Wait, what is mom doing right now? So like mom went after Ad Ad Awakawa, assumed that she would port back. So is mom like running back home right now? Or is she like outside just chilling? What do, you, what do you think mom is doing right now? You know what I mean? I'm just thinking, huh, what the fuck is mama doing? Waiting for her to teleport out? I don't know. Is she just fucking walking back in? Like, what, is she on a little nice little walk? Because maybe this is more difficult than the Araba fight. Dude, just when I thought we were out of the labyrinth, we're back in. What do you mean you're giving up? A uh, poison Gatling gun, right? Yeah, black bullets. When in doubt, just spam the black bullet. Oh my god, he's deflecting everything. Oh, he's moving like fucking, you know, the Demon Slayer fucking training doll? Kokushibas or whatever that guy's fucking, you know. Come on, what are you doing? What are you doing? Future Sight, Jinx Evil Eye. And then use Jinx Evil Eye. What's a Jinx Evil Eye? Do I, do I know that one? When the others to absorb their MP. Wasn't it, wait, Sloth is to like um, drain the enemies some um, points, but Jinx Evil Eye allows you to absorb enemies MP. Okay, we have that. Okay, cool. Didn't know we had that. Do we have time for that though? Just spam more, just spam more. And we're heavily nerfed right now, I forget, because we don't have the parallel mines too. Huh? Dude, this puppet's too locked on on us. What's the game plan? I'm kind of just waiting for like, um, level up threshold met or some shit. Plot armor, plot armor kick in. Okay, so we can't even hit the threshold level up. Hmm? Wait, we're actually not that far away from the EXP threshold then? Ew, why are you farting? Ew. Damn, if I had a thumbnail artist, basically today's thumbnail would be just like Wakaba on a couch in the middle and these arc tar texts in behind with like Mama like behind too, you know what I mean? It, it would be that kind of thumbnail. I think I did that with Chainsaw Man with Makima once before. Oh! Did we just get eaten? No, that was a rock, that was a rock, that was a rock, that was a rock. Jesus Christ. When did you get that armor? Sometimes I'm just like... I believe that her schizo fucking roleplay is real, so I thought she like has a new form where she can don that fucking phoenix armor, but basically, illusion. That was a Saint Seiya reference? Alright. Why did it turn 5 to 7 of them? I haven't been keeping track! <laughs> Who knows? Damn. Even the way that she's like- Uh oh. I was gonna say even the way she's limping is kind of funny, but- Who's that? Oh, Mama? Mama? Puppet? The puppet's too OP! Oh, you're just gonna sit on me? <laughs> I mean, if it was a big booty girl just sitting on me like that, I wouldn't matter, but... Ugh. Do we have to rely on, you know, Annihilating Eye again to save us? You better use it or you're gonna be dead. Just use it, fuck it! Annihilating Eye! Every time she uses it though, she takes damage so hard. It's not enough! Another one! You gotta use another one! Bro, half your brain is blown out! Here's another one! Oh! Oh, holy shit, that entire thing just disintegrated. Holy shit! Easy! That's one of the most hyped things in this anime. And if you've ever played anything like Hardcore, Diablo, World of Warcraft, or any other game where you're on your last stand, and you're just like in just such a desperate situation, and you get that level up ding and everything is full restored, dude. One of the most hyped shit ever. Yeah, she good. Level up threshold, man. All right, here's the comeback. Here's the comeback. 
Y'all just gonna watch your friend get eaten? Alright. Oh, the puppet actually wanted to use the arc to go down with us? What is that tiny spider in there, dude? Alright, deep fry time! Just deep fry our brothers and sisters. I'm just so interested in how that puppet was made, you know? Is it a specific evolution path? Who even created the puppet doll? I kind of want to eat mom, man. What happens if we eat mom? That would be insane, right? Damn. Yeah, it's not in the evolution tree. I didn't see anything like it. Special breed that you can't evolve into normally. Because it was like a tiny ass spider that was just like embedded in the doll. What possible breed? You mean it's not a Tartek specifically? Like, what is that? No, every time she says no point wondering about it, I swear to God, there's multiple times where Wakuma says, she's, she like ponders and asks some like really important questions. And then Wakuma's like, yeah, no point worrying about it. I'm sure it's not important. And it turns out to be like one of the most important things ever, dude. Where is mom? Is she coming back? Is she walking back right now? She's chilling outside. Evolution option. Oh, Zana Horua. Is that the newest one? I think this is the last evolution path. No. She's trying to become a humanoid, right? Because there was a specific evolution path that was like a humanoid. She wanted that because she wants to be treated like a human or some shit. Yeah, I have the arc. No, no, sorry. I forget the exact name of it, but... Zana Horua, here we go. So, before Edesaine, I believe we were known as the, the Harbinger of Misfortune. Then upon becoming Edesaine, we became the manifestation of death, right? So, what is Zana Horua gonna be? Like, the end? What is the description for this one? Alright, post credit scene. Okay, human party, Faye. This is our hideout. <laughs> Can we truly trust everyone in this room too? Is this the downfall of Shin? Or will he rise back up? Mercy skill. So that's just like crying and like resurrecting Katya, right? Mercy, okay. There must be some kind of crazy cooldown on it. Hugo and the church are all in on it together, okay? They're all evil as usual. Oh, the next target is the Elf Village. I mean, Pokemon is already dead. That's their leader. Okay. What's so bad about it? The Elro Labyrinth? Is that where it is? Yeah, it is! Dude, who is this great Elro person? Again, I'm not asking for answers, but it's like, we still haven't gotten any, like, um lore any like like hints to like who named this labyrinth right like who's elro our spider silk dude they're so scared of the labyrinth but that's where we spawned in oh prince i uh, think you're gonna die if you go back all right shun versus hugo round two Faye is chilling outside. She doesn't listen to anything. But clearly she's the most important here, right? And that's another episode of Spider. Man, just when I thought that like we're done with the labyrinth and we're finally going to be just like eating fruits and enjoying the sunshine and basking in it, just like how Wakaba said. Anytime Wakaba says like that shit, you're basically just saying like, oh yeah, it, 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 that's not going to be the case. Like you're, you're, you're talking too quick. You're jinxing yourself, right, man? God damn. The mom just like escapes. And we were saying that the mom can't get out because she's too big. She literally just fucking blows the roof on this place because the mom is so strong. And the mom is smart. Because the mom is so smart, she anticipated that she would get attacked by uh, Wakaba's schizo friends to lock them in. For then Wakaba to get chased by the mom, for her to get teleported back into the labyrinth, and then to have her arc spiders and the spiders, uh, sorry, the puppet ready. Insane. The mom is so smart, and even in a weakened state, she is 5x stronger than Araba. And she has 160k sk like, skill points. And she has taboo 10. The mom is insane. I wonder what the mom's deal is with us. 
is, is it truly just like, oh, you betrayed us, so I must eat you now? I don't really know about that one because she tried, she tried to eat us immediately on like day one, right? Like day one, we spawned. The first thing mom tried to do wasn't to give us a nice hug and say, I love you. She just tried to fucking eat us, right? So that's, there's that. So I wonder if mom recognizes that we are one of the strongest beings ever. And basically, she's trying to eat us so she can become even more stronger, right? Does mom have M% I equals W? I don't think she does, right? And maybe that goes in line with the fact that she doesn't have any of the sin skills. I don't know. Does, doesn't M% I equals W sometimes have to do with certain skills, right? Like pride and shit like that. I don't really know. But the path to godhood, she doesn't seem to have that, right? Probably super important. And now, moving forward, I don't know what's going to happen. Because, like, we're still in the past. Wakaba's still kind of power leveling, farming. Uh, she did evolve into this new path, and we're not going to see that yet because the ending fucking trolled us. But I'm sure we're going to slowly get to that form where she becomes a humanoid to the point where either she is, you know, the demon lord or she is the 10th squadron leader. Honestly, the more I think about it, knowing this show and how it fucking trolls us, I feel like she is the 10th squadron leader. But the only thing that's holding me back is the conversation that the Demon Lord had with Admin G and like talking about how she fought an Earth Dragon before, how she's like done all this different shit. Everything that she says like falls in line exactly with what Wakaba did, but it's like knowing this fucking show, you never know. But that's it from me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlist for more content, and until next time, take care.